hello friends welcome back to code tonight so in today's video guys we will see how you can resolve cwe 91 xml injection uh, issue while scanning uh, your code with the security tools okay so here what we are doing is we are using snick security tool and that is finding one xml injection issue here and uh, this, this is the code so i will show you what we have done here so this issue basically occurs uh, when we get the xml data from the uh, client side and then we try to load that into the xml document so we will just run this and we will try with some dummy uh, xml okay So basically guys as per this issue CWE91 uh, uh, you should be like validating the XML that you get from the front end um, before loading that into the XML document. Uh, so there are not many solutions regarding this available on Google or even on YouTube. Uh, so I will show you the one solution that uh, that is able to help you with the issue and uh, resolve the issue. So and we will provide you the code link also so don't you worry about that part so we will provide you that in the end of the video. So this is the view here and on this we just have one text area where we will paste the xml and then we have the submit button so here we will paste the xml so you can see i have pasted the xml in correct format and i will click on the submit xml and it will get to the process xml option here so uh, the issue cwe91 says that any hacker or any illegal user can add something uh, malicious into this xml data so we should not be loading that directly into the xml document so for fixing the issue what you have to do is uh, we will be checking one regex here before this okay so we will use one regex and here we are checking that there should not be any script tag between the xml data and there are few other uh, things that uh, any hacker can add into your xml data which can be uh, dangerous for your code so uh, we will be checking all those in the rejects and then what we will do is uh, we will just check that before loading the xml document so here we have added one check that uh, if there is any kind of malicious content there then we'll, we will not be loading and the xml document okay so now what it will do is if any hacker try to do anything illegal then it will not execute this code uh, so in the else part you can uh, try to show any alert or redact somewhere so uh, you can handle the issue okay so there is one more thing that we will be adding is xml settings and then we will be setting the xml resolver equal to null so what it will do is it will not execute things automatically and that will help to stop executing malicious code so this is the change that you have to do you have to add one validation that this this must not be in the xml that we got from the front end and once you add the check here then now we will try to go to the snick 
and we will try to again rescan the code so earlier you can see we have got that issue so now we will again scan the code so you can see that uh, that that issue has been removed and it is no more showing the cwa91 xml injection here um, but if for example we try to remove this code from here and we scan the code again then it will again start showing the uh, issue okay so that means that we are able to resolve the error by adding the uh, regex check there so you can see that we have again got the issue so guys this is what you can do to fix the issue you can add this uh, check over your code for loading the xml okay uh, now if you need the code then what you can do is you can go to our official website uh, codetonight.com uh, and if this works for you guys then don't forget to help us with super thanks and you can also um, subscribe us so guys here you will see how to fix xml injection and here you will be seeing the same code that i just showed you in the video okay so you can copy the code from here and use in your video you can also donate using this button and that will be helpful so thank you guys and let us know if you face any kind of issue thank you